right guys welcome back to another episode with the dart i'm up here on the roof of my boat out the front of barwon heads just in the background we've got the bluff at barwon heads there jolly selwood how are you mate give him a wave everyone um perfect conditions this morning we got up at 3 30 in the morning myself my old man leon cameron not my old coach but my dad leon cameron Mum and dad have finally got across the border from SA. They've come and visited. First time in seven months. Epic to have dad on the boat this morning. The last four or five times I've been out, I haven't caught a fish. I take the old man and we're bagging out on tuna and throwing them back. Big water releases. We've got snap rods. We've got missed gaff shots. We've got, we've got it all. We've got it all this morning. So it's been a really, really fun little morning session on the Southern Bluefin tuna. They're only school fish. 15 to 20 kilos but shit loads of fun so sit back and enjoy the episode because this one's a beauty Leroy yeah we're on how long did that take Leroy five minutes, five minutes not even all the other boats are looking at us. He's right here. Get ready for the gaff. In the teeth. Yeah, it's on the big daisy chain, so it's a bit annoying because it's real long. Oh, yeah, little prick. Come on. Well, we can go back the ramp if you gaff this. Oh, oh, hang on. Well done, Leroy. First one, five minutes in. Get ready for the blood. Oh, wow, we. How's that? <laughs> oh, too much blood. Oh. Settle down. He's yeah. only a tiny one, isn't he, but... Yeah. Oh! Big, big chest mark. Oh. Blood everywhere. Oh. <laughs> That's about how good my foot is going. Like, two drop and everything. Oh! There he is. Screams oh. off the back, though. Huh? You're on, Leroy. Maybe nice. you're my good luck charm, too, because I haven't caught a fish in the last five times I've been out I put that um I just ran that dredge the teaser out the back of the boat and as I flicked the bail bang yeah. instant he's a better fish that one he was all right, but he's they go though they go don't they yeah. good fun all right. I reckon we get the stick bait out soon I'm already sick of trolling for him. <laughs> it's been a while since we caught one of these. Been a little while. We'll keep this one too. If you get him in. Locked up. You want me to move these? Oh yeah, with lockdowns and stuff. So for everyone at home, Leroy, mum and dad live in SA, so they haven't been able to get across the border. So it's been. When were you, when were you last down? January. Ah, uh, June. Been seven months, roughly. This is only the second time we've been out fishing together for a long time, so to catch a few fish. If I open that esky, there's already a fish tail in there. We're gonna keep one more and then just catch them and release them. I think that's the plan. Sun's just coming up. It is like 6.30 in the morning and we might be in by eight o'clock the way we're going. It took a bit of line, that one. Yeah, it took off. Here he comes. There's that knot. Here he comes, Leroy. He is a better fish, slightly. Yeah, yeah. Go on. yeah he's alright. He's a little pocket rocket. Right. Bit of sashimi on that one. I've been hanging out for since... Oh, here we go on the gaff. Big That's pressure. Right top, yeah. yeah, you might have to do a big yeah. lift. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, bring him back. 
go. Beautiful. There's some fresh sashimi. I'll lift him in. Oh. Beautiful. He's tame, isn't he? Little white bait. That's apparently what they're feeding on at the moment. Little white bait. So that's all we're running out the back of the um, teaser. As you can see, the little squidlies. <laughs> And that was in the water for 30 seconds. Didn't take long. Oh, 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 oh. Ground ball, ground ball, ground ball. He's a better fish. Definitely a better fish than the last little one. He's gonna, I'm gonna drop him here. He's a lot tamer. <laughs> He's all right. Beautiful looking fish. The sun's just come up. Let's go home. <laughs> no, let's Done. catch more. All right. So this is the, um, as you can see there with the sun up, this is the teaser that we're putting out. It's just like a heap of squid. Off the back of that, have a nice long leader and a little skirt, little white bait skirt. So that's what they're eating at the moment. A lot of little white bait and stuff. So I put that out for 30 seconds last time and it got absolutely smoked. So let's see if we can do it again. All right, tipless rod, limited edition tipless rod. I uh, don't know what I did with this one. I think I left it in the window and wound up my car window. I'm not sure. Could have hit a tree with it too. I'm not sure about this one, but I've got about three tipless editions in the kitty at the moment. All the boats are over there, aren't they? So that's sitting out the back, just skipping along the surface towing that little white bait behind it. As you see, the birds are coming in. Oh, we're on, baby! That's how quick it is. <laughs> I haven't even stopped filming. Into it, Leroy, you go. I haven't even stopped filming. That's for anyone that thinks they're full of it. When I say we caught it in 30 seconds, <laughs> that was about 20. Oh, my. Nice fish, mate. I'll just grab him because we'll throw him back. Just bring that over. He's got a bit of go in him still. He does, doesn't he? They're solid. Yeah. Oh, he's got it. He's got, he's got the circles going. Ah. Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. Get the sun in it. Further? Yeah, beautiful Leroy. Beauty. Another beautiful tuna. Well done, mate. Now let's send this one back. We've already kept a couple. Oh, He's really healthy, this one. Off the end there. Don't want to lose the tonics. He's only been on the boat for a couple of minutes. He's not even bleeding at all, is he? No, it's good. He doesn't know where he is yet. He goes. There he goes. It's good to see him swim off like that. Yeah. Well done, Roy. Beautiful.
it actually broke it though. It broke. That's a Wow! <laughs> so every time I put my rods out, I tie this little safety thing on. There's probably no need, like they're not the most expensive rod in the world, but normally I do it for the big Tiagras. I've tied this one on, Dad's hooked the fish and it snapped the butt clean he's out of the rod off. holder. He's, he's gone, that's a good thing. And we've lost the fish, but <laughs> it snapped it clean out. We had a double hook up, lost both. Mint. We've caught several fish. We've kept two for the esky. We want to take it, take it home and cut it up for some fresh, fresh sashimi. Mwah. And I think the old man is the secret weapon as he's about to hit that boat right there. Just watch that boat there, Dad. But yeah, at the moment we've gone back to just the two trawling um, rods as we don't really want triple hookups because um, it's very annoying when there's only two of you on the boat. So, so good to get out with the old man. I tell you what, it uh, brings back a lot of memories because that's all we used to do. When I was at school living at home, we were out every week, every possible chance we had, we were out on the water. So uh, let's get back into it and catch some more fish. Leroy's on again. That's yours, mate. That's yours. Sorry, the sun's on the wrong direction. He's got out his special cowboy setup, the hat. It's been around. I remember you wearing that hat when we used to go fishing when I was seven. 29 now, the dark. Very old, very old. That's a good fish. Do we need to chase this? No. Nah, you'll, you'll control it. Well done, mate. I'm just gonna sit that down there on you. I told you. Oh, he's a good one. He's a good one, Leroy. Yeah. A bit bigger than the other ones, I reckon. I reckon. I reckon you might be on the money with that. He's just got a bit more going in, maybe. <laughs> What's that in the, in the groin area? Very bright, the sun. First time you snuck across the border and look at you doing, you're warning in all the fish. I forgot I had the net, I can just net it. Wasn't too bad before though. Like, yeah, it was all right, yeah. He sort of, that last fish calmed down for us though. It was nice and he didn't, um, he wasn't flappy flappy on the boat floor. I think, I think he was knew he was gonna go back, I think. Yeah. What a beautiful day for it. Really, really swelly, but apart from the swell and the wind chop, it's not too bad. It's like a pancake, the ocean. You know what I'm doing with this one? Getting in with it to release it. <laughs> You're kidding me. You reckon? I haven't done it before the big water release. I've heard many stories about it. Very soothing for the brain. <laughs> this one might be a really, really nice one. They've been getting some like 30 kilo ones in amongst them. Which is which is pretty cool. Like it's a good fish, thirty kilos. But then what are them other ones like? Fifteens. Yeah. Right. That small one's fifteen. Yeah. Coming. Once again on the uh, tipless rod. <laughs> I lost the eye off it because I left it. I think I left it in in my um, rod holders here and it's got tangled in the trees and snapped the rod the tip but this is the one that catches all the fish so you got to have it out all the bridge <laughs> was that with you 
<laughs> that was, the first that was all five rods too. I went under the bridge, didn't break any that day. All right, here he comes. Might get an underwater shot. Another beautiful southern bluefin tuna. Gonna put him back. I'm gonna hop in and release this one. <laughs> wow, the water temp is so nice, which is weird for Geelong. Only lasts about a month. That is so nice in there. Wow, where are you? Let's go get another one, Leroy. Well done, another fish. Happy with that? Very. Very happy. Oh, look at them under us. Look at them under us. Look at them under us. Now. Now. Let's talk sashimi. <laughs> Two beautiful school size southern bluefin tuna sitting in my yeti esky in the back of the boat right now on ice bled gilled gutted sashimi is gonna be <laughs> oh i can't wait Big fish, this one, Leroy. Yeah. Is it still on there? Yeah, he's tame, isn't he? I don't know if it is. Yeah. I've only lost it. Did you? All right, we're back on dry land. It's been a morning, as I've mentioned so far. We got up at 4 a.m. myself, my old man. We've gone out, we've caught some tuna, and now we're back, and I've got to cut these up. So we've got two of these. We only kept two because we only need two. Even two is probably too many, but um, plenty of people to give it away to. So that's what we'll be doing. Um, cut that up with a northern. You can't do it without the northern. But if you come over here, tonight's dinner is actually a lamb roast. Just starting to get that nice golden brown tinge to it. That's going to sit there and rotate for another roughly three hours. So that's actually dinner. But our entree is going to be some sashimi. As you see right here, I'm going to cut it up in front of your eyes and show you how it's done. I'm a little bit rusty because I haven't done it for a long time. So bear with me. But here we go.
Oh. Bit of soy sauce in there, some sesame seeds. All right, there you go, the finished product. We got fresh caught sashimi, southern bluefin tuna from this morning. Straight onto the plate, we've got soy sauce and sesame seeds. Now the taste test.